It'll be Cal Quantrill making his Rockies debut at Coors Field. Yeah, the last time he was at Coors Field, you got to go back to August of 2020. Corbin had a couple of singles and a stolen base last night, starting to make a little more noise lately. This one headed toward the left field wall. Corbin Carroll sends one out of here. And there's a leadoff home run. And the Diamondbacks strike first in Denver. Yeah, this pitch catches a little bit of the strike zone there. 93 right on the outside corner. Long stride that time by Corbin. Gets a lot of backspin on that drive down the left field line. How about that? Corbin's first of the year, just his second run batted in this season. Here is Gabriel Moreno batting second. Gabby sends one deep the other way. Cave in pursuit to the track, to the wall, and it's high off that fence. Moreno heads for second, and he'll stop there. We start off with a home run and a double in Denver. Christian Walker has a hit in each of the last Last three games, 267 and three home runs. Into center, that'll get Gabby home. Walker stays hot in this ballpark. Here comes Moreno, and it's another multi-run first for the Diamondbacks. This has been a very familiar scene this season for the Diamondbacks, jumping on opposing starting pitchers, and tonight, no exception. Shin Walker gets a sinking fastball right down near the knees and smashes it into center field. Gabby held up momentarily. He's got to know where that shortstop is so he doesn't have to hold up, but he'll score anyway. For Merrill Kelly, third start for the right-hander, who beat the Rockies at Chase Field in the second game of the year. Chance for some milestones for Merrill tonight. He's one win shy of 50 and seven strikeouts away from 700. Tovar's in 282, two home runs, six RBIs on the season. This is in the air to right field. Randall Gritchick giving chase. He might fall in front. No! He dives and it pops out. Tovar will make it to second. Charlie will stay in at third. If Gritchick would have caught that, Charlie would have been dead to right. And now McMahon swings at the first pitch, grounds it to second. Sliding is Peterson. He gloves, throws to first in time. Blackman scores. It's 2-1. to one. And McMahon just getting the job done. I, I don't know if that was his plan, but a good pitch by Kelly tied him up, but nonetheless able to drive in a run. Randall had a pair of hits, knocked in a run in his Diamondback debut against the Braves over the weekend. Had an RBI last night here in his return to Coors Field. And he hits one toward Jones in left field, backing up to the wall, and there it goes! Randall Gritchick is back in Denver, and the Diamondbacks have a 3-1 lead. Wow, narrowly missed on that ball down the left field line, and comes right back in and takes a fastball off the plate inside. You gotta be quick to get a barrel on that ball, and he does. His first Diamondback home run, and the lead is back to two. The left fielder, Nolan Jones, will lead off for Colorado. 3-2, weakly tapped in front of the mound. Bare hand pick up by Kelly, and he throws a beauty over to Walker in time at first. One down here in the bottom of the second. So 2-1 Brendan Rodgers. Who cannot check on that slider for Merrill Kelly, and Merrill has his second strikeout. 0-2 on Jake Cave. Change up that time. Merrill set down six in a row. He's got three strikeouts in a 3-1 lead. Second baseman Jace Peterson coming up. 1-1 pitch is driven to right center field. Cave on the drive. He makes the catch. Great catch in right center field on the drive by Jace Peterson. J.K. with a defensive gem in right center is out number three. Merrill Kelly has set down the last six Rockies he's faced. Merrill through two innings, 30 pitches, 22 for strikes. Suarez on the short hop at third, scoops that one up. And Merrill Kelly has set down seven straight. Blackman got a jump. Tovar slams it to left. It backs up McCarthy. Jake in front of the warning track, and he's got room. Shattered the bat, hits it right to Suarez. Shaded well over toward the second base bag, and Merrill is out of the third. Merrill 51 pitches, 33 strikes. 12 of those strikes were on pitches that were out of the zone. He's getting a lot of chase so far. And he'll send it high in the air on the infield. The shortstop, Alexander, fighting to win and didn't catch it. I say fighting the win. There's not much of a breeze at all. But the rookie infielder just lost that ball, and the Rockies get a gift base hit. It's a tap of the third. Suarez for one. Peterson, low throw, and another tremendous play on the other end by Christian Walker. Hangs up and right for Gritchick. Despite a leadoff hit by Diaz, Kelly faces the minimum in the fourth. 2-2 count to Corbin Carroll. Oh, he gets another strikeout. That is now three strikeouts in a row for Cal Quattrall. Diamondbacks did not have a hit since Gabby's single in the second. He's two for two. That Knock. one's going to stay fair, and it yeah. checks up on the grass. Gabriel Moreno, three for three. A little help from the gods right there. <laughs> on the top of the order of Blackman. Doyle takes off. Gabby's throw, he was ready. 
Oh, Gabby oh. Moreno with an absolute strike. The Gold Glover throws out Brenton Doyle to win the fifth. Well, you want Merrill Kelly to be efficient. How about a nine pitch fourth and an eight pitch fifth? And Charlie Blackman leads off the Rocky sixth. And he'll walk for a second time. Tovar rips in, overplays Alexander. Charlie's thinking about third. He's going to stay at second. Ezekiel Tovar, another multi hit game. Dumped out no in front, way. it's fair. Moreno goes to third. Suarez rips it across. McMahon barely beats it out. Heads up play from Moreno. Get the lead runner in Blackman. One out, first and second for Elias Diaz, the catcher. Runners on the move. Throw to second by Gabby. Out there well ahead of the runner, wow. McMahon. Tovar gets into third. That is so smart right there. Tovar with the better speed of the two base runners. And the trail runner almost always gets a late jump. And that's the case with McMahon. So why not throw to the trail runner? Great job. And a bouncing ball toward third could be a tough play. Suarez with a bare hand can't make the play, and the run will score. Caught it on the third hop and trying to charge and bare at the same time. Elias Diaz, an infield single. Rockies return that favor, and they get back on the board. All right, Torrey trying to rally the troops here, get out of this sixth inning with a 3 2 lead. And that slider just backed up. Yep. Second walk in the inning for Merrill Kelly, third of the ball game. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So after all that, as six Rockies come to the plate, Colorado gets one on two hits. They strand two. Tyler Kinley coming in for another inning of work. This is in the air to left. It's hit hard. Jones looking up. He runs it down. The only reason he made this play is he did not take his eyes off the baseball. He knows that if he takes his eyes off, he's going to have to turn around and go the other way. He stays with it tracking the baseball all the way in even though it's fighting across his body he does a good job he fell for Nolan Jones he made four errors in the first week of the season but he has made several remarkable plays including one last night in left center and here's one more chance for Gabby doubled and scored in the first singled in the second and the fifth he's already had a good night make it a great night hard to third Gabby's got four hits it rolls up the line and Moreno digging for second the throw from Jones, who's got a big arm. Gabby hustles in there. His second double tonight and his fourth hit. He did make it a great night. Spanked that one right down the third baseline that time. The Diamondbacks and the Marlins are the only major league teams that do not have a save this year. So here to get number one is the big right-hander, Kevin Ginkle. On the corner, got him! Kevin Ginkle rings him up. Dotted the fastball that time, and there's one away. And here's the one-two to Rogers. Well, tapper, Kevin has got it. And he's got out number two. And Cave will be the hitter. This would be a big one right here. Called strike three. Kevin Ginkle, a one, two, three, ninth. And that's win number 500 as Diamondbacks manager for Tori Lovello. And that five-game losing streak is over.